Hello, my lovely Leo dragons. Welcome to your January 2022 reading. So first I'm going to pull out some cards from the unicorn, um, sorry, the oracle of the unicorns. And we're going to get some overall energy for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some cards. Um, oh, that's quick. Somebody has a message for you guys. So... <laughs> Um, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It is free and I do appreciate the support. You can also leave comments. Love the comments. Um, and I do approve them. I just have it so I have to approve them. A, so I get to see them all the time and I get to respond. And B, to stop spammers. So, because I want comments to be relevant, okay? So, okay, let's pick that one. So let's see what's going on for you guys, okay? For January. Okay, Leo, you have gentleness, so be kind to yourself and others. So you need to make sure that you're on the good side, discernment and healer. Okay, so I think this is about really, okay, be kind. Always be kind. Okay, um, and I hear that you need to, as you discover, okay, Leo, if you didn't already know, um, these cards are very much pulling in somebody who sort of has this little inclination or maybe they've been attracted to, obviously, if you're watching tarot readings, you sort of know that you're a healer of some sort. You you have a gift. Everybody really does. Um, but there are those who are um, drawn into it. And some people neglect it and they just don't and they walk around. Everybody has the potential it's just about sort of honing in to it and developing it. I have a feeling that um, as you're discovering your healing skills, right, um, to be careful who you talk to them about, okay? Just be careful. So let's go ahead and get some cards, please, for Leo. Let's see what's going on. Because I feel like, here's the thing, I feel like, actually, this landed on discernment, so I'm going to leave that there. I just told that. Um, I get the feeling that um, as you start to become more kind, um, you're actually going to um, develop your heal. I'm not saying that you're not kind, um, but um, as you start to find a little bit more softness and gentleness, Let's go ahead. Come on. Give me some cards. No, I'm not taking all of those, but I will take those. Whoa, and I will take that. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay. So, first of all, what came out is the six of wands in reverse. So, there has, you, you've bit felt that there's a frustration or a betrayal. Um, there's sort of like a fall from grace. Okay, something happened, and what I just heard is, and I don't say these things, so um, it knocked you on your ass, okay? I'm sorry. It knocked you on your butt, okay? Um, and, yeah, th there was something that you needed cre to create balance with, okay? And I hear that it was to do with um, some sort of love, but I'm also hearing that it's within you. So something took you away from you. And you need to really reconnect with who you are, okay? Um, and look, uh, the sun, okay? Fire sign, right? Happiest card in the deck. This has all affected your happiness. And I think that when you realize that you had to bring things in balance with yourself, you're starting to find your happiness. Um, yeah, it's, it's, this has been in sort of like here I he feel that it's external and then the rest of it's been a, 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 an internal sort of battle because it's like you can't it's it's you can't see what's happening in front of you because I I feel that what's happening outside of you doesn't matter because it's what's happening inside that matters okay yeah okay so um I feel that you're very slow to trust because of this because of what happened um something Something was sort of chaotic and out of control. 
because that's where the discernment, that's why I kept this under discernment, because this is the only card. It doesn't really match these two. It's like, what's going on here? Can I get more cards for Leo, please? Let's see. Can we, uh, can we complete this story? Also, guys, please like and subscribe because I forgot to mention I'm doing the bonuses for January. I'm not doing them now, but I'm going to be doing them when I get to them. I look at all the videos for all the signs and I see who has the most likes and the most subscribes and the most views. And um, you guys have actually been like superheroes on my channel. I do appreciate it. I love it. Um, Leo, you guys have been coming out very strong in uh in my views and i've i've noticed i've noticed um in december i didn't do any um bonus readings because um because i did the predictions and i can't not do a, a yearly prediction for a sign right so guys here's what we have the ten of swords flew way over here okay i'm not sure if you saw that but that is the ten of swords in reverse so this is about um you are having a fear of ruin and I feel like you were holding back and delaying something from happening. Um, I feel like you were stopping something from stopping. Um, and I, and this is like, and this happened way back here. You are moving on beyond this now. Now is <sighs> trying to get time from the universe is funny because you could still be going through this. You could still be in the Ten of Swords and you could still be stuck way back here. Okay, but what this is saying is, because this is like literally, it flew off camera, is you need to really put this behind you. Okay, this is not serving you any good. You need to go and reconnect. You really need to go and heal and reconnect if you haven't already. Okay, my Leos? So, and it's funny, under this, so whatever is happening, Okay, um, you are afraid of people betraying you. You're very afraid of people betraying you. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. And um, I feel like, um, so first of all, okay, the obvious is some trips may be canceled. That's pretty obvious right now in the landscape of what we're doing here. Um, it's, um, there might have, this ha may have something to do with a breakup of, um, of a relationship and it's chaotic. You know what I'm really hearing now is they're like, this has to be moved. This has to be moved over here. So this is what I'm doing. Okay. I'm moving it. See, this is why it's worth it to watch because they're like, this doesn't belong here. I'm like, okay, very good. Because I'm like, why is this in between this? You do need to be gentle in this situation, though. That's what they're saying is that's why that was there. I couldn't figure out how to how to figure it out. The Nine of Cups is in reverse, okay? And this is about trying to remain um, positive and having faith in the universe. Um, the big thing about this is you don't get your own way by trying to control things, okay? Because that's um, affecting your happiness. Um, and I feel that there was a breakup that happened of some sort and it could be very much in the past and you could be stopping it from moving on. There's something that you lost. There's a loss and you, and you, you're not going to move ahead by staying stuck. Okay. Like, and, and you need to, you need to, you may not want to, but you definitely need to. Okay. So. Yeah, you have the hermit soul searching. You have got to go inside, Leo, if you haven't. Let's move ahead. Okay, so Leos, for my Leos that are in the gentleness and the healer, because this is what's attracting me. This, I feel like this is sort of old news. If you're in this energy, go back into past Leo readings. And because there was a time where I was really like hammering into Leos. Um, it might have been in the summer, um, but you should be able to tell by the... Um, by the, the headlines, okay? Yeah, you have the 10 of wands in reverse. So what this is, is once you move on, okay, a burden is being lifted. You're getting free of all of this heaviness, okay? And you're getting the four swords. So you're gonna get relief and you're going to rest, okay? This is a good energy. This is positive moving forward. Remember when I like, sometimes you have to, right? You need to actually sort of put your foot down with, <laughs> with the energies and say, stop giving me cards for this. Just stop. Okay. 
um, and we want to move on. So this is us moving on. This is really beautiful because you're free. All of a sudden now I feel like it's lighter. I actually want to separate these. Okay. Sorry guys, but that's just what I'm getting the urge to do. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's move ahead. Let's let gentleness and healer dominate the table. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, look at this. And the Knight of Pentacles. So it's been slow to happen. It hasn't happened fast, but it's slow and it's stable. Okay. So it's still in the beginning, but it's good news and it's going to be very stable. Okay. And it's trustworthy and it's grounded and it's sound, right? And it's amazing. Look, and you have the Page of Cups. You're bringing in the new. How much better? Do you see the shift in energy? Do you, maybe while you're watching, you feel the shift in the energy that's happening as we go through this. Like at the bottom of the deck is the magician. Oh my gosh, guys, the nine of pentacles. Okay. So what this is, is you're overcoming, um, so much that's been going on in your mind. Okay. You have the page of cups. This is gorgeous. This is new, 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 new happiness, new relationships, new, uh, just new love. Okay. Magician everything's coming into balance. This is when you can manifest anything. Okay. You can grow. This is you harnessing your power. Okay. And look, the nine of pentacles. Okay. This is one of the most positive cards in the deck. Okay. This is about harvesting and your hard work paying off. Okay. Guys, like this is such a gorgeous energy. Like how could you not want to get here if you're here? Okay, how could you not want to do this? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Anything? They might, might, they might just be like, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, one more. Let's see what's come out. Yeah, the five of cups. Okay, this is okay. Because, so this is about sorrow and loss. It's funny because what I'm hearing here when you heal from something so huge, you do need to go through the stages of grief. Okay, you do. You need to go through the denial. You have to go through the acceptance. You have to go through the bargaining. You have to go through all of those stages when you've gone through something so big. And that's okay. Because as you go through, that's the healing process. And you know what? Just because you do it once, you might have to do it again because you realize how deeply this impacted you. Okay. Uh, don't, don't worry about it though. Okay. Like people are so scared of healing and so scared of moving on and so scared of it. And it's like, like what's, what's the worst thing that can happen as opposed to being stuck in the same place for the rest of your life. That's not really a life, right? Go and search your soul. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. It's, um, ouch, this one's poking me, so I'm going to take it. Ah, uh, guys, yeah, see, you're being so guided to go and in, in connect and heal. I am the loving energy of the universe. I don't know if you guys can read that. I feel like that's really what you need to just keep saying to yourself. You need to bring in love. You need to bring this in and see your healer and see your gentleness. And if you are the healer, Okay, just be very discerning on who you share it with. Okay, I hear and I just heard not everybody is on your side. Okay, so you do need to move forward and you need to find your proper supports. Okay, Leo, this is a gorgeous reading. Please do like and subscribe. I do appreciate your support for the channel and I will see you in your next reading. Thank you.